Welcome to our Bluefin San Diego Comic-Con at Home panel, where we're going to be talking about all sorts of fun exclusives and what's coming next from Bandai Namco Collectibles. I'm Justin Cavender, I'm the content manager for Bluefin, and I'd like to introduce you to our panelists today. We have, of course, the brand manager, David Clark, and uh, he oversees Flame Toys, Sentinel, Mega House, uh, Apparel, Lifestyle, and Team Common Rider. My goodness, David. <laughs> That's a lot. It is. I am very tired, but I love what I do, so... Hype talk about what's coming up, so. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we Perfect. love you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Moving right along, we have AJ Velasco, who is our marketing specialist and community manager for Storm Collectibles. Hi, everyone. Hi. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're here. Oh, good. Doing great. <laughs> and we have Mr. David Edmondson, a.k.a. Bandai Dave. He is our senior marketing manager for Bluefin. How are you doing, Dave? I'm amazing. How are you today, Justin? Holy smokes. I am fabulous, and I'm ready to get into the mix. Me too. And San Diego Comic-Con wouldn't be a thing if it didn't have Tamashii Nation's exclusives, particularly Dragon Ball. So what do you have for us from Tamashii Nations? Awesome. So we're super excited this year for Tamashii Nations, much like last year where we used the premium Bandai USA system. So everyone in America had a chance to get the exclusives, not just the small portion of people who were lucky enough to be at San Diego. Starting off, we have four SH figure arts. We're going to start with the most obscure of the characters right now. We have Super Saiyan God Goku with the red hair. It's flowing. It's majestic. It's semi-translucent. Everybody loves Goku. Another Goku. Another Goku. This one with red hair. Guys, what do you think of the uh, Super Saiyan God Goku event exclusive color? Yeah, I saw and I love the way the red hair looks. Uh, I am down to purchase one. <laughs> Yeah, no, the red hair looks amazing, but also like I didn't get like the other one, so this is like this is my shot. So yay, thank For you, Tamashi. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the great things about the event exclusives is it gives people a second chance to get you know figures that they just weren't able to get. So Super Saiyan God Goku is going to be fifty dollars on Premium Bandai USA. We also have, we'll do this one as a pair. We have reissues of event exclusive colors for Beerus and for Whis. So. Uh, out of the two, which one? Uh, which one are you guys picking in a fight? Uh, knowing how strong Weiss is, I'm gonna go with Weiss. <laughs> yeah, I mean, canonically, yeah. it's Weiss. <laughs> and and Weiss is like the type that just has elegant tea parties. Like I just love everything mm -hmm. about that guy. Yes. <laughs> I think he's so fun and festive, and he's just like, oh, oh maybe I'll fight today. Right. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Like, and and he's he totally will give those hands though. He will he give you them hands. Yeah, right. and he's dragging <laughs> Beerus around by like his nose. Like Beerus has no idea that he's just being controlled by Whis, and he, he right. thinks he's the one in charge. And it's right. really just about Whis. So both Beerus and Whis will be fifty dollars each on Premium Bandai USA. And we have one more SH figure arts that's going to be available on Premium Bandai US, and that is the color event exclusive for Nappa, the big boy. He's a little bit bigger, so he's going to be seventy dollars. But uh, Nappa, one of the original Saiyans that we saw in the beginning of Dragon Ball Z, are you guys hyped? Yeah. Yes. Again, it's another figure I missed out on, so I would like to get it. Yeah. yeah. No, same here. I I, uh, I had forgotten about to pre-order it until I got here and was sold out, and I was very sad. So yeah. thank you again, Tamashi. <laughs> okay. Does Chao Su come with a little firecracker so you can explode him when he's on Nappa's back? <laughs> Firecrackers <laughs> sold separately, <laughs> Kevin. Uh, but uh, you can definitely get your own firecrackers, but then I would advise you buy at least two. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to want to blow up your only one. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, so four SH figure arts, uh, the the Goku, the B Beerus, and the Whis are going to be fifty dollars each. Nappa will be seventy dollars on Premium Bandai USA. And like last year when we had the Dragon Ball stands, we're bringing the stands back this year. Instead of labeling them one through seven Dragon Balls, there's going to be three different stands. There's going to be a cool Saiyan pod. There's going to be one that has kind of the Whis symbol, and there's one that's going to be that iconic symbol that's on you know uh, Kakarot's back. Yeah, uh, the Turtle School. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So you can buy a box of six for forty-two dollars, and you will get two of each. So uh, buy a box and buy six figure arts from uh, Premium Bandai for uh, San Diego Comic Con. Value. Yes. Yeah. So that is what Tamashi's rocking. I can't wait to hear what else is coming from you guys. Well, that's exciting stuff. Very excited cool. about that. So AJ, let's talk about Storm Collectibles. Sure. What do you got for us? All right, so we have a couple of new figures. Uh, we have Deathbringer from Golden Axe. So that one is colored with some purples and greens. And other than green, we also have Dimitri with a different color variant. Uh, he also has a green color as well. Same amount of hands and faces that the regular one comes with, as well as the same effects with the bat and the fireball effect. And then we also have a Kung Lao. Now, the really cool thing about this Kung Lao, he comes with the effect of that spinning hat. Oh. You know, that 
fatality where you throw that hat down and you do the pull, you shove the face, you do all those neat little tricks that didn't come with the regular Kung Lao. So nice. you get that one, and that's exactly what you want. Sure. Excellent. All right, um, and then also there is a uh, Black Skeleton 2-pack. Oh, that's right. There's also the Black Skeleton 2-pack. So just like the original Skeleton 2-pack, uh, you do get these uh, two skeletons in a black and charcoal look. The shield and sword are the same from the original. So for those who missed out on the original one, you get a cool new one, but color black. And they're fully articulated. You can do wonders with these skeletons. Yeah, yeah they come with extra hands and everything exactly. like that. It's, I was blown away the first time I opened the skeletons. Just, I just thought they were just like an accessory. They were fine. But yeah, when they came with the alternate hands and everything, I'm like, oh, these are legit figures. Yeah, yeah. for army building. Yeah, like everyone on social media, like everyone on our storm, Twitter, like they love it. You should see the photos they do. Oh, oh my goodness. It's ridiculous. Absolutely. So I can't wait. And Golden X slashed its way onto the gaming scene all the way back in 1989 from oh. Sega. So uh, over 30 years we've been talking about and playing Golden X. And it's pretty exciting to have action figures from this oh line. Yeah. Don't feel bad, but that was the year before I was born. Whew. So, <laughs> I, ooh, I, don't, I don't feel bad. I, I feel bad for you that you were not yeah. of the appropriate age to play these yeah. amazing games. Yeah, we were able Missed to out. enjoy them the day they came out. You had to wait a couple years for us. Yeah. We yeah. were at the forefront of Sega. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you know, oh, th this was an era of the side scroll beat em up sort of action games. <laughs> and uh, I really sort of missed that from gaming. Yeah. And um, we did get Streets of Rage 4 last year, which Storm Collectibles also made figures for. Yeah. Was that Axel Stone, right? I believe we, it was. Yeah, it was Axel Stone. There's a lot of requests for other characters from there. So keep sending those requests. I'm sure we'll get there one day. Yeah. Can we talk about this Kung Lao fatality, though? Because. Arguably, that's the meanest fatality in all of Mortal Kombat when you throw that thing down and he's like pushing the poor guy's head. And I get for it, they're sure. fighting to the death, right. but for some reason, it just seems so much more evil and gross and terrible than yeah. like any other normal fatality. He gets right. results and he's fighting weird forearm uh -huh. demons from the other worlds. So, I mean, like, it's kind of all fair. Right? I'm just saying, he's arguably a good guy canonically in Mortal Kombat yeah. and he has the most evil fatality. Like, like I, I would put it up against anything win. that he does Shun, it, Shao Kahn does. But with love. Mm -hmm. right. For his realm, his realm, For not love? them. He hates them, but like his realm. He wants <laughs> Who's, to them? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Who's them? Who's them? All the weird, crazy monster people. <laughs> He's got to do whatever it takes. Of which know. there are a lot of them. <laughs> so, so Mortal Kombat 2 was the uh, first appearance of Kung Lao. And that goes all the way back to 1993. So for almost 30 years now, we have just been slicing people in half with Kung Lao. And even, okay. you know, talk about escalation. You know, you mentioned the horrible face into the, the spinning <laughs> spinning blade hat, and that's pretty mm -hmm. awful, but I remember with Mortal Kombat 2, uh, his banana slice was pretty gnarly too. Uh, that was that was sort of the first one that made me kind of go, I don't think I like that so much. You saw like parts of his rib cage and everything. Mm -hmm. It was pretty gross. Yeah. And for those keeping track at home, David was three. I was three. <laughs> Since now all dates must be uh, BD and AD. He does not yeah. um, fit the rated gaming thing. Yeah, right, I, I so. was not allowed to play Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Oh, not for a while. I played in a bowling alley. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I played a 7-Eleven, so there's that. Wow. So you mentioned uh, Dimitri from uh, Darkstalkers. We mm. also know that Storm Collectibles is going to be bringing us Morrigan. Uh, but what are some other characters from Darkstalkers that you would like to see, AJ? So it's been a long time since I've played Darkstalkers, but I do remember the couple of ones like Anakaris, that mummy dude. I think he was really cool. Uh, there's Hisenko. She's that uh, zombie character as well. And I believe Felicia is also. And also most of these ended up on like MVC. So yeah. that's the reason yeah, why that's I why, know yeah, most yeah. of them. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I would love to see figures for most of these characters anyway. And you can be like, bye Felicia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm partial to the Sasquatch. Uh, someone that lived in Seattle for 10 years. They're uh -huh. a bunch of Bigfoot enthusiasts. So I'm going to have to get my hands on a Sasquatch action figure. A lot of enthusiasts. No finders of Bigfoot. No, it's like, no hey, finders. A lot of looking for Bigfoot, not a lot of finding. It's like, no. That's why they call it fishing, not right. catching. The fun's in the journey. <laughs> yeah, it's in the journey. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, um, Storm Collectibles has brought us Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Streets of Rage, now um, Darkstalkers, and Golden Axe. What are some of the franchises, AJ, that uh, fans are just screaming at you to get more Storm Collectibles action figures from? So, one of the ones I see constantly is the Gotcha Man. Uh, as also a fan of Gotcha Man, I would love to see more news on these and when we get more news for it. Because, so, other than Gotcha Man, we have that. Uh, Baki. And I believe there is one more. For stuff that's like eventually coming out? I was yeah. just asking you about, 
I mean, you if you want to spill the beans now, you're more than welcome to. But I was just asking for like, you know, on social media, are people are screaming at you, AJ, oh my God, I need like Killer Instinct figures there or something like that. There is a lot of that. Primal there Rage, is, probably Primal another Rage one. Primal Rage is one, yeah. Uh, Resident Evil has been also on the top of the list I as well. Why. You yeah. can't imagine why. People want yeah. to have some, uh, <laughs> Resident Evil is definitely some mommy daddy thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they want that big lady. Killer Instinct also is definitely on the top of that list as well. Sure. So everything's at the top of the list. I could use a full lore figure. That'd be pretty sweet yeah. i would take a full gore figure all right well we'll come back to the to the reveals later because mm-hmm. i'm not i'm not prepared to handle that right now his body is not ready it's to not absorb ready that kind no. of that awesomeness yeah that's just too much, too much. now um david we're yes. both big transformers fans and i see that uh, you are not uh, prepared to disappoint me today so no. why don't you go ahead and share what transformer action you got going on yeah so for for comic-con we have our exclusive g1 nemesis prime so, uh, you know, it's a great molecule, it's snapped together, it's very easy. But of course, this is the evil version, so it has the... the whoa, 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 logos. morally flexible. <laughs> okay, morally flexible. There you go. He just, he doesn't mind killing anything. Sure. <laughs> I'm not up on my on Generation there. 1 Transformers, I've only just watched it recently for like the 12th time, but uh, what episode is Nemesis Prime Generation well, see, 1? See, that's what makes him an exclusive. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's right. Yeah, look at how sharp he looks. He's got the, yeah. the black and silver... He's cool. He's like Go Raiders over there. Yeah. Must have been yeah. must have been part of the season five that didn't happen. <laughs> you know, every Optimus has to have a Nemesis Prime version. <laughs> I definitely missed gotta that have, on this. Gotta, gotta have the cooler black version. That's how it works. But yeah, he he looks awesome. Uh, he's very limited numbers though, so like like don't wait. <laughs> it's gonna be in, and then it's gonna be super gone really quick. So sure. you're saying I need to order it immediately. You need to order like in right. fact you should have already ordered. I'm disappointed in you. You're right. I missed out. <laughs> Can we talk about Fury model kits really quick? Yeah. Uh, how how big are these uh, model kits? Uh, so Optimus here, he's a little over six inches. Uh, Bumblebee and, uh, is a, like about five ish. <laughs> you got Drift, who's like between Bumblebee and Optimus, and then of course you got Devastator, which as you know, he's just ridiculous. Gotcha. <laughs> you know? And asymmetrical. He's, over there. And <laughs> yeah. he's, he's over right there. That here. <laughs> and, and our perfect our, in every every sense. <laughs> Are Fury model kits, uh, are they good for, for beginners, for experts, somewhere in the middle? Where, where are you yeah. at if you are, have never built a model kit before? Is, is right. Fury model kit something you can jump into? It's definitely good for beginners and experts. You know, experts, there's, there's a lot there for you to, to work with, to customize and paint and stuff, which if you watch our Bluefin Hangouts, you've seen my Devastator that I put together, which David loves. <laughs> but it's also simple enough it more. For, you know, for new builders. And, uh, and as we found out back in some of the last in-person Comic Cons, uh, they are mostly kid-proof. I, I, I've seen a kid throw a Thundercracker, and Thundercracker survives. So, wow. Yeah. It's well, I don't, I don't want to name names, but somebody in here, me, has <laughs> dropped that Devastator from that perch, <laughs> and like one tiny piece came off, and I just popped it back on. There's, there's, I was amazed. I'm like, oh, this is a problem. And I looked yeah. down, and it was perfect. So oh, they're, 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 they're durable. That, they're durable models. flame quality. Sure. <laughs> Um, and improve. Can you tell us what Fury model kits are on the way anytime soon? We have a, like a Windblade, I think, and maybe a Rodimus. Yeah, yeah, Windblade will be coming out later this year. Rodimus should be here very, very soon. Uh, Shattered Glass Drift is already here. So if you didn't order, I, I think you had a luck for this t- <laughs> this go around. But don't worry, there's more things coming up. So perfect. Yeah, and we can get this Nemesis Prime on bluefinbrands.com. That's correct. As well as all the other Storm stuff that. Uh, AJ just mentioned a few minutes ago. Bluefinbrands.com. Get all your exclusives right there. Now, I'm looking at this Iron Man. This black and gold Iron Man. He looks crazy. Why don't you talk to me about that? So, yes. This is our very first ever uh, exclusive fighting armor figure. It is a black and gold version of Iron Man. It looks really cool. Uh, I I can't wait to get it. And it's... And sorry, guys. who like to wait. It's also very limited. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, the first Iron Man fighting armor sold out, like, ridiculously quickly. Um, and that one had lots of quantity. This one is very short. So it's, I mean, I'm sure it's already been sold out from the moment this video started. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can have this one. No, no. no. <laughs> Dang, I cannot. This, this one is from I me. Place my pre-order right now. <laughs> so I have the first release of the fighting armor Iron Man. And it is absolutely amazing. The articulation is, is awesome. I'm always posing it in different stuff. I, I've kept it on the landing pose. I've kind of nailed it. I feel pretty proud about that. Yeah. Um, it's like a combination of Iron Man and Blade just kind of landing down, looking super cool. Uh, love it to death. Um, now, is it, it's... Comic Con going on right now. Is this figure available right now, or is this a pre-order and I gotta wait? It is available right now. It wow. is in the building currently. <laughs> Very excited about yes. that. 
And uh, you also have a Captain America, which yeah. I would argue is probably my favorite out of this entire line. Uh, not to take anything away from all the others. They're right. all amazing, but the blue just pops on this one. I yeah. love the shield. I love everything about this figure. I know that it was one of our most popular posts on social media, mm. and uh, people are just in love with this Captain America. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah. No, so, like, the, 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 this is the, the very first sample. It, it got here at the same time as the, uh, as the Iron Man. It's it's nice. The, the thing that stuck out the most to me was that the shield is on there very you know securely, which is like what mm. I, I'm, whenever I get a cap figure, I'm almost worried. I'm like, is the shield gonna like flop off and be kind of terrible? But no, it, mm. it is very secure and he looks really cool. So I'm I'm very happy for it. You know, I'm gonna take the credit that uh, I posed them. So it looks <laughs> really good. Yeah, it does look good. They're very sturdy. I, I will allow you to buy one. And I can attest, there I play is. with a lot of Captain Americas <laughs> from a lot of brands and. Uh, Sometimes that shield is a real struggle bus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and with you know the shield kind of being like the central part of the character, it's very important that it's, it's kind you know, of a big deal. deal. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's kind of a big deal, yeah. And, okay. and the fighting armor figures come with the stand that they're posed correct. on, correct? Yes, they do come with the export nice. stand, which is very, very awesome. So if you want to do aerial poses, it's awesome. You can also like put multiples on one if you want to have, you know, have like a nice cool group shot as well. So. Cool. Yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah. Now, uh, speaking of fighting armor, I understand that you have quite the expensive catalog in store for us. Do you want to talk yes. about that? I mean, I could. You know. but <laughs> it's whatever. You know? I mean, <laughs> people might want to hear about yeah, it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's just us. It's just us. Just us. No yeah. one. I want to know. <laughs> right. So, Wave 2 uh, is very exciting. Um, we, we have War Machine coming up next, which it looks really good <laughs> I'm, I'm very hyped for it plus it's i mean it's got more guns and more armor so you really can't you know go wrong with that uh after that we've got black panther coming up which you know hella hyped about that uh and then we have thor and loki now the cool thing about thor is that he comes with both mjolnir and stormbringer fantastic so that's <laughs> that's amazing yeah. just by uttering the name of the hammer the comments just exploded <laughs> no matter how much you say it right people are gonna hate on you i remember we did an interview with marvel uh-huh. and i said it right and uh the comment section was not nice to me right meal near <laughs> thor's hammer good, yeah. luck. good luck with that mr clark i know yeah. I, comments I, below. I welcome the wrath that's Let's bring it. Meow, meow. That's yeah. the hammer. Meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I know. So the fighting armor, it, it's got a really good feature ahead of it. I, I know what comes after that, but I can't say it one just yet, but it's pretty... It's pretty magical. Oh. Leave a note like right down here and tell me. I will accept it. Why don't we play a game of telephone? You whisper it to AJ, okay. and he whispers to me, then I'll go to Steven, and he'll whisper it to Justin. And then, and then, then if Justin says the right name, right. you have to reveal it. Yeah, and then Marvel's ninjas will come through and uh, end me. So. Oh, man. <laughs> Look, I get it. It's Abomination from The Incredible Hulk, played by Tim Roth, right? Wow. No. Spot on. Go. Oh, no. I don't I'm know glad, what I'm it is. You... If it ends up being Tim Roth, I hope I don't get in trouble. <laughs> I'm glad you said something because I had it here in my notes and I was prepared to talk about it, but now I know I would get killed if I did. So. Ooh, Justin knows. So, uh, <laughs> go, to, go to Justin. He's uh, he's got the hookup. He's out oh, of the telephone oh, game. <laughs> man, that that would be scary stuff. Now uh, we're also big Spider-Man fans. Uh, I think everyone in this room absolutely adores Spider-Man, and you also have something in store for us for uh, Spider-Man as well. That's true. Yeah, you know, as a follow-up to the Miles Morales from Into the Spider-Verse, uh, we do have a Peter Parker coming. Uh, now this one is going to be cool. So. You get the version with just Peter Parker by himself, but there's also another version that's coming that's going to have him with the uh, the the lion's head statue thing that you see in the photos. So that, that's going to be a very limited version. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Then after that, we have Penny Parker along with her Mecca, which is I mean has been the most requested <laughs> from the Into the Spider Verse line because you know it's a Mecca. Uh, and then after that, we don't have photos just yet because it's still early in the process, but we are doing Spider Gwen, uh, Gwen Stacy. So. That one's going to be pretty cool. Looking Is she going to have that. the shaved head on the side? That, I don't know. I <laughs> would assume so. Should have, I would have assume both. so. Maybe two heads, one with the regular hair and then one with the botch job. I mean, the Miles Morales came with so many exclusives. I mean, it came with a whole extra set of clothes, so I'm pretty sure they can probably give her an extra head. There is like a glaring omission from Into the Spider-Verse, Mr. Clark. We're not, we're not, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> 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 oh man, I'll take it. And the uh, the Miles Morales that you mentioned was a GameStop exclusive, yes, so correct. definitely go to yes. GameStop to check out that yeah, figure. It should be on shelves right now. Amazing, absolutely love it. Very excited yeah, about that. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, AJ, do you want to tell us uh, a couple of things that maybe Storm has going on in the pipeline? Yeah. I mean, you mentioned <laughs> Gatchaman already, or Battle of the Planets. If you're you one of those people, like me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, what's a Gatchen, man? <laughs> um, and then you also mentioned Baki, right? That yeah. is, uh, that's streaming on Netflix, I believe, right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we also have the Reptile Skeleton from Golden Axe. So all you Golden Axe fans uh, can add more to your little skeleton army. Uh, yeah. I cannot wait. As a big accessory person myself, I cannot imagine what else it comes with. So, yeah. Other than a shield, a sword, maybe multiple swords. You know, but got to see and wait for it. Can't wait. For sure. And then lastly, we don't have images, but I know a lot of people have been asking, and that is for Virtual Fighter 5. Oh, that's right. Ooh. We also have Virtual Fighter 5 coming out. Uh, I'm interested to see what how it looks because... You know, with that game being such a classic, you know, people are very, um, they're, they're stuck to how it looks and they want it to look exactly like the game. So for all the fans, hopefully it looks amazing. Like pixelized and, <laughs> and yeah, indistinguishable like, like, from a person? Yeah, just like the, like I want the bunks, I want the pixels looking just like that. So then every time you touch it, it's just sharp on the corner. And it must move at 30 frames per second. Is that, is, that how right. old, right. is that how fast he was moving that game? I cannot remember. Oh, man. Just a bunch of shapes coming at you. A lot of polygons. There you go. Nice. Is so, that everything from Storm? I believe that is it. Awesome. If you're in the LA area during San Diego Comic Con, uh, we are going to be having a Tamashii Nations pop up event at Santa Monica Pier. I believe it'll be on the Third Street Promenade. We're going to have a ton of things from uh, not necessarily the exclusives, but a lot of hard to get things from you know the Chokogen line, the Figure Arts line, Figure Arts May line, Figure Arts Zeros. The biggest gathering of Tamashi Nation stuff in Southern California, probably ever. So uh, go to TamashiNations.com or follow at Bluefin Brands for all of those details. It's going to be a great thing. Weather's great. Selection's great. Third Street Promenade's a nice place to go to. So if you're even in the remote area, if you can drive down there, you will not be disappointed at the Tamashi Nation's pop-up shop. Yeah, you already said hard to get. So <laughs> I was already sold from the moment you said hard to get items are there. Yeah. Nice. And well, pop-up shops, it's just an empty lot, and then they add water, and then poof. We have yeah. the whole building. Dehydrated. Yeah. yeah. It's the way the future. It's so like how we're all going to eat pills in the future. Right. It's Capsule Corp. It's yeah, yeah pills now. It's a poof. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it should be amazing. We went down there, and it was beautiful weather. You know, the sun's out, surf's up. You know, uh, if you're into that kind of thing, go to the beach, shock a bra, and uh, <laughs> then go uh, go buy some cool Tamashi stuff at the yeah. pop-up shop in Santa Monica. Fantastic. It is fantastic, Justin. It is fantastic. Muchos fantásticos. Fantástico! <laughs> I think I'm going to head there right now. Sorry, yeah. guys. Hey, there, guys. i got to go to pop-up. So some good food, some good Pokemon Go spots down there. That's right. That's right. Pokemon Go Make capital whole, of the world. Go to the pier. day of it. See if we can see Mystic 7 down there. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm a yellow. It's a deep cut for the like the eight remaining Pokemon Go nerds sure, out there. Sure, sure, No, it's perfect. All right, there's one brand we haven't talked about, and Justin. I know David Clark doesn't build Gundam, but he collects boxes. Is there anything coming from our friends at <laughs> oh, Hobby? Man. Absolutely. You two Davids crack me up, man. Uh, we do actually have a Mobile Suit Gundam Eclipse coming. Uh, you can go to Gundam.info for more information. It's a new comic book series. Very excited about that. Um, and not only that, but we're getting a master grade for Gundam Eclipse, and it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, and not only that, I know this was announced earlier, but guess what? It's also coming to the United States. We will have it in September. Uh, here's a fun little video to give you a little recap of all the exciting stuff that's happening with Gundam Eclipse.
David, you gonna get some of those? Uh, I I will get it and I, I will build it because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of all these accusations. All lies. We only having boxes. I'm, you know what? I'll build it on a stream. We'll Ooh, do it. Let's that's do right. It's a challenge. We're right. gonna build this bad boy on a stream. That's right. I'm tired of this one side argument. Some someday Clark's gonna have to come back and mirror us. It's gonna look like I'm picking on you. Yeah. Well, there's gonna be a Lufin hangout where all the boxes are gone and we'll be like, what happened? They're all built. <laughs> Here's what we'll do. You can build one and I'll build one. We'll build them together and then you can just nitpick how terrible I am at building so I don't I feel bad about picking on you. He does buy like two or so of each, I believe. So you should have enough. I usually to, buy two. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You, yeah. you got to buy one to build and one for kit batch material. It's just, and if yeah. mine is better than yours, we have to, we get to destroy your Devastator. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Maybe you guys should build one without using any tools and you have to just use your teeth. Oh, wow. Wow. Wait, wait. wait is, I'm offended by is there another, <laughs> There's another way to build them without using your teeth? <laughs> Oh, it hurts. Just do it. My It'll soul. be fun. I got, the, I got the perfect grade RX-78. I'm just going to use my teeth, right? I, oh. Or oh just I'm like, okay with it with the engine like, grade. Like, like oh. sewing scissors with like the like the teeth? Yeah. Oh. Use those, right? Lord, they, they don't know what they're doing. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm going to go on that one for a little <laughs> no. bit. For that's why I'm on with you. With the that. savagery of it all. <laughs> or get the scissors with little shapes like hearts, and you just oh. cut little hearts and all your little gumpla. <laughs> we like, sell tools. <laughs> <laughs> they're easily available. But I have these ones. So. <laughs> We oh. like to use the tools that we were oh. given when we were born. This <laughs> is the business we've chosen. I like to make things harder for myself. Ma Meiji, if you're watching, don't, 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 don't watch. Oh, he's watching. He's not, oh, he gosh. what's up. He's the one who gave me the idea. No, he's like, he was like, David, oh. why don't you try building it with your teeth? And I'm like, that's a fantastic idea. Oh, I'm going to no. do it. No matter I think how many it'd be a fun challenge. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. All right, so one bluefin hangout will be oh. this challenge oh, between the both of them. The yeah. David v. David battle. Teeth versus nippers. D I'm down. V yeah. Let's do Which it. Which one looks better? Which one has more DNA on it? <laughs> Perfect. Oh, my God. You might cut yourself. Yeah. But it, should be, it should be fun, though. I'm, I'm pretty hyped for it. Yeah, it looks and, great. And it transforms, which means it's got some pretty cool joints, which is great for kit bashing. So <laughs> There you go. You're a number one for kit bashing. Yes. It's so funny. You look at the box. Well, I look at the box, and I say, please, God, please, God, please, God, let me make it to where it almost looks like the box. <laughs> and you look at it like, what else? What other cool things can I do with this kit? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I could just gut it, take the inner frame, turn it into like a like a centaur kind of thing, or you know maybe add some giant wings on it. You know, if there is a spectrum of Gumpla builders, you are clearly on the red good side, and I'm way way back here <laughs> like the tepid blue. Yeah, I don't can't have, do anything right. Yeah, I don't have the imagination to know what piece goes where. You've I, got the eyes for that. I have bought many <laughs> kits like that. Shield is dope. I like the legs. Everything else. Save it for later. <laughs> With me, there's a 50% chance the piece goes in the right spot. With you, you're just not even thinking about putting it in the right spot. Yeah. You're like, how can I put it with this other kit? And that's Gumpless that is freedom. next level thinking I do not possess, Mr. Clark, and I envy you for that. One day. So that's where I'm on that side. I don't possess that end. <laughs> One day. If it looks like the box, I won. <laughs> Clark, you did mention the shield. It does come with effect parts that attach to the shield mm. uh, for the beam effects. Looks gorgeous. Excellent. Yes. More kit bash material. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, the shield. The shield is good. Future is. GBWC material, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. We, we should do a video where you just have a bunch of, of the runners and we're just like, bash it! Oh, oh no! Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Bash it we'll take away like a runner from each of your boxes. We'll just give you 10 runners or something. What can you build out of this? Oh, <laughs> that sounds fun, actually. Oh, okay. Fun, thing to, do, uh, fun thing to do at a convention. <laughs> give like five people just like... Just, Completely random, random runners, like you might yeah. not even get ahead. We could just <laughs> give him David's runners, like you know, like we'll just get from his boxes. There's yeah. plenty. I think so. This is, this is like the balloon animal equivalent. A little engine. <laughs> I made a snake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm good at snakes and swords. <laughs> I don't know what I made, but it's got six arms. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like, cool. Eclipse looks really good, though. So yeah, it's really it really good. does. It's gonna be good for. I, I expect to see a lot of these parts in future GBC. Cool. <laughs> and I'm sorry. What grade is it? This is a master, master grade. Master grade. Yeah. yeah. Big boy. Yeah. The best grade. Very yeah. exciting. You think so? I love Master Grade. Over Perfect Grade? Perfect yeah, Grade is too perfect. much, too much well, effort. <laughs> I like Perfect Grade, but we have more Master Grades faster because it's easier to bring up to right. make them. So I like perfect. that one better. Huh? It's still called Perfect. It, it is Perfect. Yes. Oh, there you go. It's perfect. But... <laughs> I'm more, a, more an SD, HG kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> and it is compatible with uh, different variety packs. The Striker packs. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that, 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 that's pretty cool. Striker, Launcher. What have you? I just need to buy four or five more strike kits now. <laughs> all my other striker packs David. have been used in kit matches, so. In order to make this model look cool, I gotta buy all this other stuff to make it look super cool so I can make the other David feel terrible about it. So. <laughs> yeah. Look how that's adorable. It looks just like the box. You did a fantastic job. Now look at this. I, I did once buy uh, six Master Grade Gogs for a single kit bash. 
It's like that. I don't even know that Gundam. It's like that show nailed it to where you show your example and then like I show my example and it's like, oh, (laughs) well, you you tried, you tried, (laughs) nailed it. Gunpla is freedom. Yeah, it's freedom. (laughs) There you go. Is it? For the talented, <laughs> for those that are talented, I follow an instruction booklet and I follow it to the core and to the T. <laughs> oh, maybe Eclipse still looks cool, so it'll still turn out cool if you look at just the instructions. It just won't, you know, be like a centaur like mine will. <laughs> the centaur Eclipse. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Brought to you by Clark. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We hope you enjoyed our Comic-Con at Home panel, where you got an awesome look at all these amazing exclusives, which just happen to be available at bluefinbrands.com. While you're there, be sure to visit bluefinbrands.com slash contest, where you can enter to win this amazing giveaway that we're putting on. We love giveaways, and we want you to win. Also, be sure to follow us at Bluefin Brands across all social media platforms, where you'll have news, announcements, giveaways, and all sorts of fun stuff at Bluefin Brands on all social media platforms. Also. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's youtube.com slash bluefinvideo, where we have all sorts of amazing video content for you, including focusing on Comic-Con at home. We hope you have an amazing Comic-Con experience, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.